nights away from the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. But tonight, Monday Night Raw emanates from the Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Kakalaki. And the Monday Night Raw main event for the Royal Rumble is on showcase tonight when the WWE Champion, Randy Orton, and his challenger in Toronto, AJ Styles, step inside the ring in a pick your poison. AJ Styles chooses Randy Orton's opponent. Orton chooses AJ Styles' opponent. Who is going to get the edge on the road to the Royal Rumble? We find out tonight. And also later tonight on Monday Night Raw, the World Tag Team Championship Eliminator continues when Eric and Ivar of the Viking Raiders take on Jinder Mahal and Sheamus. Who will move on to meet DIY next week? Find out later tonight on Raw. And we kick things off tonight from the Greensboro Coliseum with the Apex Predator, the Viper, the Legend Killer, and of course, the WWE Champion of the World, Randy Orton, set for action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the rings from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. So coming up in just nine nights at the Royal Rumble, Randy Orton will defend the WWE Championship Sunday night, January the 1st, kicking off the new year against the phenomenal AJ Styles. Right here, right now in the Greensboro Coliseum, the first match of two in the Pick Your Poison tonight. Orton and AJ gonna have a chance to soften each other up before the Royal Rumble. AJ Styles choosing the WWE Champion's opponent tonight for this opening contest. And of course, later on, we will see AJ Styles in that very ring. Styles has been on a roll as of late. Victories over Austin Theory as well as Rob Van Dam. But who has Randy Orton lined up for AJ Styles to fight inside of that square circle? We're going to find out in your main event right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. But who has AJ Styles chosen to fight the WWE Champion? Wait a minute. I believe it is one half of the world tag team champions, the Archer, Damian Priest. What a matchup this is gonna be, kicking us off tonight. And his opponent from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, one half of the world tag team champions, Damian Priest. Well, those World Tag Team titles will be on the line on Sunday night, January the 1st. It is a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We're kicking off the new year, kicking off 2023 with a bang, the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Nine nights away from one of the biggest pay-per-views on the WWE calendar, but what a way to kick off Monday Night Raw tonight here in Greensboro. The WWE Champion Randy Orton versus his chosen opponent, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest. And I'm sure AJ Styles looked to Priest as well as his tag team partner, Dominic Dijakovic, for this matchup based off their success back at the Survivor Series pay-per-view in the month of November. AJ Styles, Priest, and Dominic Dijakovic teamed up against the Hurt Business on that night, won in a sweeping fashion against all three men. And Yori can trust Damian Priest and he's going to trust Priest to do the damage on the WWE Champion tonight. And what a singles opportunity this is for Damian Priest. Of course, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, but a victory over Randy Orton tonight can absolutely put him in line for whoever leaves Toronto on January 1st, the WWE Champion. As we mentioned, Damian Priest will be in action at the Royal Rumble as well, as himself and Dominic Dijakovic will be defending the World Tag Team Championships against the winners of the World Tag Team Title Eliminator that, again, will continue later tonight on Monday Night Raw. The Viking Raiders, who had their opportunity against Priest and Dijakovic back at Raw Homecoming, a possible match of the year candidate on that night. But to get another chance, they're going to go up against Jinder Mahal and Sheamus. The winners of that match move on to next week here on Raw, the final Monday Night Raw before the Royal Rumble to face DIY. Of course, the winners of that move on to Toronto 
the challenge for the World Tag Team Championships. Let's focus in on the action right now. WWE Champion Randy Orton, one half of the Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest, kicking us off for what is going to be an action-packed filled night inside of the Monday Night Raw ring. I want to thank you all for joining us. And of course, just a few weeks ago, or excuse me, just a few nights ago, we had our epic live premiere, Saturday night's main event that took place in Columbus, Ohio. The replay is available right now. Wait a minute, Damian Priest. Look at this, to the outside, dropping the elbow on the WWE Champion. Damian Priest leaving it all on the line tonight in the Coliseum. Elbow from the top to the outside of the ring, crushing the windpipe of the WWE Champion. Priest knows the opportunity at hand. Again, a win over Orton could absolutely put Priest in line for a WWE Championship opportunity after the Royal Rumble. Then there is, of course, the other, the other thought of helping his friend out, AJ Styles, the man who picked him for this matchup and doing a number on Randy Orton ahead of the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. And Damian Priest throwing caution in the win there, risking injury on a move like that. Luckily worked out in his favor, but right now Randy Orton is back in control of your opening contest tonight on Monday Night Raw. Orton has been so dominant, violent, and destructive over the last couple of months. I mean, everybody who has stepped to the Viper in one way or another has been put down by Randy Orton. Victories over his former friend Matt Riddle. Victories over Drew McIntyre and Mustafa Ali. What about Edge inside Hell in a Cell at Survivor Series where Randy Orton won the WWE Championship? Of course, a few weeks ago, he defended that gold at Royal Homecoming in Madison Square Garden against Austin Theory, retained it on that night as well. Randy Orton has been leaving a bloody trail of destruction for months. Will AJ Styles be next at the Royal Rumble? Damian Priest trying to get back into this fight. Goes behind, Orton with the counter. And Luthez from the WWE Champion taking out one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Of course, Dominic Dijakovic not out here with Priest tonight. Priest, before teaming up with Dijakovic, we know had a successful singles, singles career the last few years here in the WWE. So, absolutely, can go it alone in that ring, no questions asked. Former NXT North American Champion, former United States Champion. Damian Priest has all the tools to be a WWE Champion one day, but right now, Randy Orton making sure that day isn't anytime soon. Dropping him on the hardest part of the ring. AJ Styles cannot be a fan of what he's witnessing right now. The man who he will fight in nine nights at the Royal Rumble, Randy Orton in firm control of this matchup here tonight in Greensboro. The fight continues on the outside of the ring, sending Priest right to the barricade, not once, but twice. The WWE Champion is all over his chosen challenger here tonight. The title may not be on the line, but opportunity and bragging rights surely are. And Randy Orton doesn't give a damn how he wins this match. He'd gladly take a count out over Damian Priest. Six. He's at a count of six. World Tag Team Champion taking his time getting him back into the ring. But Randy Orton's right there to meet him. Priest has got other ideas, though. Couple of kicks. Wait a minute. Choke slam by the Archer. Signature maneuver by Damian Priest. Oh, Randy Orton, just a slap to the face, disrespecting one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Orton doesn't give a damn who you are, where you've been, or what championship you hold. He's the WWE Champion, and he cares about one thing and one thing only, and that's the gold around his waist. Back and forth we go here, Randy Orton. Oh, wait a minute. Counter out by Priest. Orton going for a ride. Damian Priest has got his eyes locked on the WWE Champion right now. Trying to grab a hold, could have been looking for that reckoning. Randy Orton's got another idea. Neck breaker to close on the back of the neck of Priest. We'll see Damian Priest in action at the Royal Rumble. That is if he can make it to the Royal Rumble after this physical matchup with the WWE Champion Randy Orton. Oh, wait a minute, Priest grabbing a hold of Orton. Don't count him out just yet. Got the champ in the air. Razor's edge by Damian Priest. What a maneuver. We know Damian Priest. Oh, Randy Orton getting out of the way of that springboard right there. May have cost Priest, but well, oh, and Orton. This is how he beat Austin Theory a few weeks ago with a maneuver like this, but Priest able to muscle out of it. 
You know, Damian Priest takes a lot of influence from the late great Razor Ramon inside of that ring, pulling out that Razor's edge right there. Almost enough to put the WWE Champion away. Morton almost stealing the victory moments ago off that small package, the same way he beat Austin Theory in Madison Square Garden back on December the 7th at Raw Homecoming. We're in control of this matchup right now. We want to thank you once again for joining us here on Monday Night Raw and encourage you to go check out the replay of Saturday night's main event just a few days ago here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. A show that featured Monday Night Raw's Kevin Owens taking on one half of the Street Profits, Montez Ford. It also saw the return of the rated R superstar Edge. We're going to catch up with later tonight on Monday Night Raw. For SmackDown's United States Championship was defended in the main event. Bobby Lashley, Mustafa Ali tearing down the house in Columbus on that night. The replay is available right now. Saturday night's main event. Orton dropping Damian Priest in the barricade. And Priest has really taken a lot of offense on the outskirts of the ring throughout this matchup. Maneuvers like that really start to add up in the later rounds. And Randy Orton has got this match exactly where he wants him right now. Reese has got to get back in. Referee's out of count of, count of five right now. You see one half of the world tag team champions trying to pick his spots, but Randy Orton lying in wait like the Viper he is. Damian Priest that we got out of the way. Don't count out Damian Priest as we mentioned earlier. Another choke slam to the WWE Champion. Priest has got to capitalize, and he does just that. Into the cover he goes. Not just yet as Randy Orton gets the shoulder up, but how close was that by Damian Priest? Not one, but two choke slams, and Priest's choke slam so emphatic sits out with it with his opponent just to get the em extra emphasis on the delivery. Randy Orton in the WWE for 20 years is the current WWE champion for a reason. He's got Priest atop the top rope here. Wait a minute, Damian Priest is dazed. Oh no. Wait a minute, I think I know what Orton's going for. We've seen this in the past. Orton trying to send a message on Priest's behalf tonight. An RKO from the heavens. The WWE champion. Knows AJ Styles is looking on and is trying to get in the mind of the Phenomenal One before the Royal Rumble. Randy Orton picking up the victory and one hell of a fight to kick off Monday Night Raw. Damian Priest taking the WWE Champion to a limit tonight, but the Viper looks ahead. Sunday night, January the 1st, 2023. We're just nine nights away from the WWE Championship being defended. Randy Orton meets the phenomenal AJ Styles at the Royal Rumble. We're back live on Monday Night Raw in the Nigerian Giant, the colossal Omas is set for one-on-one -on -one action. The road to the Royal Rumble continues and everybody in the Raw and SmackDown locker rooms looking to build momentum for the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup that's gonna take place in nine nights. 15 men from Raw, 15 men from SmackDown, one golden opportunity to head to WrestleMania, hanging in the balance. And here comes another man who's looking towards the Rumble. And his opponent from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E! A former WWE Champion, Big E. Back here on Monday Night Raw, suffered a loss to Kevin Owens a few weeks ago at homecoming, but the New Day's Big E set for a one-on-one -on -one action against one giant opponent. Both Big E and Omos, two of the 15 Raw superstars that will enter the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup at nine nights. And again, the ultimate opportunity hangs in the balance. For Monday Night Raw superstars, they're fighting for a shot at the WWE Championship. For SmackDown superstars, they're fighting for a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. Who's going to punch their ticket to the main event of WrestleMania? Well, what a matchup we got right here, right now on Monday Night Raw. It's a giant versus the big man, Big E, versus the colossal Moss one-on-one. Now Moss, normally, you gotta say, always the aggressor in his matchups. 
always the favorite in his matchups. And Big E, you don't normally find himself as an underdog, but you got to say this is absolutely that case here tonight. Big E, obviously one of the strongest competitors in the WWE. Omos incredibly strong as well, but if he's got one thing over Big E, that is absolutely the height and size of that man compared to his opponent tonight. What a matchup this is, Big E and Omos. Again, both men trying to build momentum towards Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Nine nights away, Sunday night, January the 1st. We are kicking off the new year. Kicking off 2023 with the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, which what a pay-per-view it is shaping up to be. The WWE Championship on the line for Monday Night Raw. Randy Orton and AJ Styles. We know the World Tag Team titles will be defended. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic putting up the gold on that night against the winners of the Tag Team Eliminator. And you see Big E sending Omos over the top rope there. If this was the Royal Rumble, Omos would be eliminated. I guess we know there's one man in the WWE that can send Omos over the top rope. But Big E may be one of extremely few that's got the strength to do that. And really just trying to take out the gut of Omos. It's one thing to knock Omos off his feet. It's another thing to keep him down. Oh, wait a minute. Look at Omos. Look at the size of this man. Cradling up Big E into a small package. Somehow, Big E's able to fight out of it. That's where the Nigerian giant Omos is really looking to bounce back tonight. His most recent loss came in a big way against the original bro, Matt Riddle, back on draft night. The Raw after Survivor Series in a no-holds-barred matchup. These two men concluding a couple of months worth of issues between the between each other. So Moss trying to bounce back tonight, and as we mentioned, Big E trying to do the same. But only one man can leave the Greensboro Coliseum getting their hand raised on the road to the Royal Rumble. And Omos is heading to the top rope. And I believe Big E might have shook the ropes there. I don't know what the big man was looking for, but he had something else in mind. Look at this, look at the strength. And New Day's Big E in control of this matchup. And I think we're really witnessing a rare occurrence right now. Not many people can, for lack of a better term, manhandle Omos, but Big E has definitely got the strength to try to do so as he comes off the top rope with an elbow. Uncharacteristic there by Big E, but I assume both men are just looking to pull different strategies out of the book to tr throw off their opponent tonight. Big E has got his eyes locked in Omos. Look at this, look at the strength. Big ending on the Nigerian Giant. You have got to be kidding me. Big E secures a big time victory here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Man, I can't believe the strength out of that man, Big E. Muscling up the colossal Omos. Big ending. And big momentum built for that man on the road to the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup Sunday night, January the 1st, 2023. Both these men will enter, but momentum's in the corner of Big E. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to this past week on Saturday night's main event. Kevin Owens picking up a victory over Montez Ford, but for the first time since the Raw after Survivor Series, the rated R superstar returned, and he made a beeline for the man who tried to put him on the shelf for good. That being Kevin Owens. As you see here with the highlights, Edge taking a beating on Kevin Owens. Weeks in the making after Edge has been sitting on the sidelines due to the injuries. And Edge took to Instagram earlier today to say this. He said, did Kevin Owens think I was just going to lay down and forget the beating he put on me? I guess this is the first time we've met. My name is Edge, WWE Hall of Famer, and I fought back from much, much worse. So KO, I'll see you in my hometown of Toronto on January 1st because it's you, me, and absolutely no holds barred. Officially made for the Royal Rumble. First time ever. Edge, Kevin Owens, one-on-one, -on -one, and it's gonna be a no holds barred matchup. The Royal Rumble just got that much bigger. Toronto, Edge is coming home. Well, we are set for some more action tonight on Monday Night Raw from Greensboro, North Carolina. One half of the women's tag team champions, Candice LeRae, goes one-on-one -on -one with Casey Catanzaro, plus the Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunne, meets Jordan Devlin. 
the results of those contests see Candice LeRae picking up the victory over Casey Catanzaro and the Bruiserweight continues his momentum here tonight on Raw. Who is going to meet DIY next week on Monday Night Raw in the finals of the Tag Team Eliminator? We're going to find out right here, right now. It's Fight Night! The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, has been on the losing end the last couple of times we've seen him inside the squared circle. Most recently, was at the Raw homecoming event at Madison Square Garden a few weeks ago in that triple threat matchup with Tommaso Ciampa and Pete Dunne. And of course, Pete Dunne pinning Ciampa on that night to become the new Intercontinental Champion. But now Sheamus with his eyes set on a different set of championship gold here in the WWE alongside a longtime friend, the modern name Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Can the Celtic Warrior and Jinder Mahal secure this victory tonight and move on to fight Gargano and Ciampa next week. Hell, I'm sure Sheamus would love to get his hand on the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa. We're going to find out who's moving on the Tag Team Eliminator right here on Monday Night Raw. And his partner from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, Jinder all roads lead to our biggest pay-per-view to date. Live premiere Sunday night, January the 1st, 2023, 5 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. The road to WrestleMania begins at the Royal Rumble. It's gonna be an epic live premiere, and it is shaping up to be the absolute biggest pay-per-view to date here in the WWE. Just signed moments ago, the Rated R Superstar Edge will return to the squared circle to meet Kevin Owens for the first time ever, and there's going to be absolutely no holds barred in that contest. And of course, the World Tag Team Championships will be decided as well. Dominic Dijakovic, Damian Priest, going to challenge the winners of this whole Eliminator tournament. Will it be Sheamus and Jinder Mahal, or will it be Eric? Ivar, the Viking Raiders. Only one team can move to the finals next week on the Raw, right before the Rumble. Who's it gonna be? Let's send things down and let's find out right now. And at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. There may be no other team in the tag team division in WWE that is more hungry to get their hands on Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic once again. The Viking Raiders challenged for the tag team gold back at homecoming a couple of weeks ago. And as we mentioned earlier tonight, a potential match of the year candidate for the Viking Raiders versus Priest and Dijakovic. But unfortunately for Eric and Ivar, coming up short in the garden on that night. Former World Tag Team Champions have been chomping at the bit to get back the gold, and now another opportunity arises. Greensboro coming unglued. The war makes its way through North Kakalaki. Our Eric and Ivar gonna move one step closer to the Royal Rumble. The winners of this matchup fight Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa on the final Monday Night Raw before Toronto next week. Who's it gonna be? Let's find out right now. Celtic Warrior Sheamus, the big man of the Viking Raiders, Ivar, set to kick us off in this tag team eliminator matchup. As Ivar, big time splash immediately to the cover on Sheamus here. And Sheamus having to get the shoulder up. You know how tough all four of these men are. We've seen the Viking Raiders, as we just mentioned, go the distance with Priest and Dijakovic just a few weeks ago. And even though Sheamus has been on a string of bad luck, remember back before Survivor Series when he meant Pete Dunne inside a steel cage match and Sheamus walked away, a bloody, bruised, battered, beaten man, but also walked away, the victor. Sheamus, most recently, a former Intercontinental Champion here in the WWE. Every man chomping to get 
some championship gold around their waist and this is the opportunity to move forwards at tonight look at the strength by Sheamus not many men gonna be able to muscle up Ivar Sheamus however is one of them the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal who gets tagged in by Sheamus former WWE champion here in the WWE and sure that was a good couple of years ago good five years ago or so here in the WWE but Jinder Mahal has got all the tools to be a champion here once again Tags back in Sheamus, so in the hall, and Sheamus coming in with a strategy tonight to stay fresh. They know as a team, Eric and Ivar are built to go the distance, are built for, no pun intended, war inside of that ring. Sheamus and Mahal coming prepared tonight. Ivar gonna do the same, nice counter, and uses his head as a weapon. And drops the big tree trunk leg on the throat of Sheamus. For DIY has got their eyes locked on this. Of course, last week here on Raw, Gargano and Champa defeating Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day to advance in this tag team eliminator. What power! It's really after the matchup though that Gargano and Champa sending a message to both of these teams here tonight, beating down Kingston and Xavier Woods after the bell, throwing them out of the ring. Gargano and Champa stating their claim in this tag team championship eliminator. Sheamus into the cover after doing a number on Ivar. Eric in there to break things up. Watch Jinder Mahal from behind. Taking out one half of the Viking Raiders. And they spell some trouble for Ivar because Sheamus is in control right now and he has beaten down one half of the Viking Raiders here in Greensboro. Still to come in moments, we got match number two. The pick your poison going down here tonight. AJ Styles going to meet an opponent of Randy Orton's choice in moments in your main event of Monday Night Raw. Well, Ivar trying to get back into this thing. Trying to get the crowd here in Greensboro behind him. North Carolina been a great host of Monday Night Raw all night long. And of course, we'll be in Toronto, Ontario, Canada on Sunday night, January the 1st for the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. The night that is going to be the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup to decide who goes to WrestleMania to fight for the WWE or World Heavyweight Championship. The tag team titles are going to be on the line as well. Could it be the Viking Raiders or could it be Sheamus and Mahal challenging Priest and Dijakovic in Toronto? Ivar really needs a tag. He has been in since the opening bell and Sheamus has blocked every chance he's had to tag Eric into this matchup. Now Ivar dropping Sheamus with the DDT, and there's the tag, Eric in as your legal competitor, and dropping Sheamus before he can make the tag to Jinder Mahal, and Eric trying to rally the troops here in Greensboro tonight. Eric and Ivar have been world tag team champions in this calendar year, held the titles from March all the way till June 26 at SummerSlam, unfortunately have had a couple of opportunities to get past get back to gold excuse me since then but haven't been able to pull the trigger look at this Mahal wow springboard by Jinder Mahal what a double team maneuver you know it's very uncharacteristic from Jinder Mahal but that shows the trust between these two longtime friends Mahal and Sheamus you may not see them team very frequently here in the WWE we have seen it in the past in this calendar year but again showing the trust as Jinder Mahal with a big opportunity, a big risk right there. Eric still with fight left in him. Jinder Mahal dazed, Eric grabbing a hold. We've yet to see the Viking Raiders really tap into some of that double team offense in this matchup, and that might be the difference maker if Eric and Ivar can put the right pieces together and start working as a cohesive unit in this matchup. Look at that swing out slam by Eric. Very impressive. And now again, going to try to muscle up the modern day Maharaja. And he does it again to the bigger competitor, mind you. Now a tag made to Ivar. Viking Raiders trying to stay fresh in this, or at least the freshest they can. And Mahal is down. The big man of the Viking Raiders has been known to take it from the top with that super fly splash. The same maneuver that won in the World Tag Team titles earlier this year. Not enough to admit to get them moving on, excuse me, just yet, but definitely damage done. 300 plus pound competitor crushing down on your wing pipe is absolutely gonna do some damage. 
Now look at this, Jinder Mahal. It's taken out by Ibar. Gano and Champa got to be loving what they're seeing right now. Just watching these two teams beat the hell out of each other. And of course, DIY getting an extra week of rest. They wrestled last week, and whoever wins this match is moving right on to next week on Monday Night Raw. So, Gano and Champa are going to be going to that matchup. The fresher competitors. Now look at this, Ivar, excuse me, Eric, muscling Jinder Mahal up in the air, letting all the blood rush to the Chrome Dome, and the Viking Raiders have got pedaled to the metal in this matchup. And are they moving on to next week? And as a cover goes, but Jinder Mahal survives again. Mahal could really use the tag. He has taken some big time offense from the Viking Raiders ever since being tagged in a few moments ago, and there's the counter by Mahal. Shin Jinder Mahal be the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship earlier this year. Had some championship opportunities in this last calendar year, but not able to capitalize. Is this the opportunity that the modern name Maharaja is finally going to seize? Look at this. Flatliner. Eric Eaton the canvas and a much needed tag to the Celtic Warrior. Tag made to Ivar. The two men we started with are back in here. Fresh as a daisy, or at least the best they're going to get the fresh. Ivar trying to load on Sheamus. Look at the power. Alabama slam. Might as well call it an Irish slam from the Celtic Warrior. What a maneuver. Going to go for that backbreaker, but Ivar counters into an STO. Back and forth, the pendulum swings this tag team eliminator. Ivar in control. Sheamus stays. Ivar with a shot. And another headbutt. Ivar not afraid to use every inch of his body and throw to his competitor, all in the means of getting a victory. The Viking Raiders looking to get back to the World Tag Team Championship picture. Looking to wrap the gold around their waist again. Walk back straight to Valhalla as the kings of the tag team division. Now a tag made to Eric. And look at this. Double team action for the Viking Raiders. Eric into the cover. Ivar takes out Mahal. Not just yet as Sheamus gets the shoulder up. We got a barn burner on our hands right now. Tag team wrestling all on the line. Who is moving on to fight DIY? Eric from the top with the axe hammer. Sheamus is still dazed, man. He has taken a lot of offense, and that ain't going to do him any good. Rolling discus forearm. Eric better keep his eyes on Sheamus. Tag made to Jinder Mahal. And the modern-day Maharaja in here. And Eric trying to make sure that Viking Raiders stay in control. Back and forth we go. Reversal at the reversal. Discus forearm knocks Mahal off his feet. Eric with his eyes locked on his opposer here tonight. Goes behind, Mahal with the counter, takes out the leg, goes behind on Eric. Goes for the STO, Eric able to counter. And a shot right to the gut, simple but effective, and he falls over the tackle. And Mahal's in trouble. Back and forth we went for a moment, but now Eric with that MMA kick to the back. And not watching his ring awareness there. Eric's used that maneuver in the past for Viking Raiders victories, but not watching Jinder Mahal's positioning in the ring. Doesn't mean the damage wasn't done. Tag made to Ivar. Sheamus is still out. And the big man's going to the top rope from the skies, crashing down. Cover. Viking Raiders are going to meet DIY next week. A physical tag team altercation here tonight in Greensboro, North Carolina. And unfortunately for Jinder Mahal and Sheamus, they are leaving the Coliseum, taking another loss. Eric and Ivar out fighting their winners, opponents this evening. Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. The Viking Raiders picking up the victory here tonight on Monday Night Raw. And there you see the updated graphic on the next episode of Monday Night Raw, December the 28th next week. DIY Viking Raiders for a shot at Priest and Dijakovic at the Royal Rumble.
Well, next time we come your way on pay-per-view, it is a live premiere Sunday night, January the 1st, 2023, 5 p.m. Eastern time. The road to WrestleMania begins at the Royal Rumble. And just signed earlier tonight, the first time ever meeting will be no holds barred. Kevin Owens, the prize fighter, takes on the rated R superstar Edge, not only to his return to Toronto, but for his first time in the ring since Hell in a Cell at Survivor Series. The WWE Women's Tag Team Championship set to be defended. Sasha Banks and Naomi earning their number one contendership on Saturday night's main event. They meet the way in Toronto. The gold is on the line. And of course, who is going to be the queen of the women's division? The championship is up for grabs. It is the third and final meeting between the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and the ballsy badass women's champion, Shotzi. One on one, the final chapter will be written at the Royal Rumble. It is your Friday Night SmackDown main event. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Will John Cena, the franchise of the WWE, claim number 17? Or will the champion, Seth freaking Rollins, leave the Rumble still atop of SmackDown? And it is your Monday Night Raw main event. The WWE Championship, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, defends the gold against the number one contender, the former WWE Champion, the phenomenal A. J Styles, all that and more coming your way Sunday night, January the 1st, nine nights away at the Royal Rumble. It is time for your main event from the Greensboro Coliseum in North Carolina. The phenomenal AJ Styles set for his matchup in the Pick Your Poison versus Randy Orton. Who has the WWE Champion chosen to step in the ring with Styles? We're gonna find out right here on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The Phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, AJ Styles has been on a roll as of late. Ever since Survivor Series, Styles has really turned things around after a few months of bad luck really struck the Phenomenal One. Just the last few weeks here on Monday Night Raw, AJ Styles picked up a win over all day Austin Theory. And then just seven nights ago here on the Red Brand, Styles defeating Mr. Monday Night himself, Rob Van Dam, to become the number one contender for Randy Orton's WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble. But Styles has got to lock in and focus on the matter at hand, and that is who Randy Orton chose in the Pick Your Poison festivities tonight. Oh man, AJ Styles has got his hands full. The man who has been undefeated since returning to Monday Night Raw, the former NXT champion, Karrion Cross, hands selected by the WWE champion himself. Karrion Cross has been dominant ever since returning to Monday Night Raw. Victory after victory, for the cold-hearted eyes of the man who walks down the aisle here tonight in the Coliseum. Karrion Cross with an opportunity against the number one contender, AJ Styles. But Cross also one of 15 Raw superstars who will step inside the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup on Sunday night, January the 1st. Could Karrion Cross outlast 29 other superstars and punch his ticket to the main event of WrestleMania? Well, Karrion Cross, if he wins the Royal Rumble matchup, could very well be fighting AJ Styles or Randy Orton for the WWE Championship when we get to the grandest stage of them all in Tampa Bay, Florida at WrestleMania. But that is then, this is now, and AJ Styles has got to focus on the matter at hand. The cold-hearted, dominant, and destructive, undefeated Karrion Cross, looking to bring doomsday upon the number one contender. AJ Styles better focus in. Things have been going his way the last number of weeks, but when you got Karrion Cross on the other side of the ring, it's a whole different set of strategy, a completely different blueprint when you're facing a former multiple-time NXT champion and a man who has yet to smell loss since his Monday Night Raw return and the number one contender's not wasting any time. Cross had his back turned. AJ Styles said, we're getting things going. 
Referees in the ring, and ladies and gentlemen, your main event is underway. Styles saw opportunity and struck the pick your poison. Main event here in Greensboro is underway as we speak. And now carry it across, not going to let AJ Saver in the moment too long. Now carry it across. Suffered those same results a few weeks ago when he fought Cedric Alexander on Monday Night Raw. Maybe that's the word going around the Monday Night Raw locker room right now, is how do you beat Karrion Cross? Jump him from behind might be an option, or that might just be pissing him off even more. Karrion Cross right now is trying to take out the elbow of AJ Styles. You take out the arm, you ain't gonna be worrying about a phenomenal forearm. And stomping on it again right now. And AJ might have just pissed off the undefeated man who stands across the square circle from him tonight. AJ better find a strategy, find the blueprint for this matchup and execute now or never. Karrion Cross, all of his matches since returning to Monday Night Raw haven't gone the distance as you might have thought, but Cross no stranger to going long distance in these matchups. The former two-time NXT champion has already fought some of the best of them. And this may be the first time he meets AJ Styles tonight. But Cross is, I'm sure, going to be as dominant and destructive as ever. AJ able to take Cross out of the ring, hit that forearm, trying to show that his arm's all good and gandy. But how will it hold up in the later rounds of this contest as Cross really focused in on it moments ago? As the fight continues here on the outside in the Greensboro Coliseum here in your main event of Monday Night Raw. I'm sure the WWE Champion Randy Orton has got his eyes locked on this main event. He was successful earlier tonight against AJ Styles' hand-picked opponent. That was one half of the World Tag Team Champions Damian Priest. Orton sent an emphatic message that RKO off the top rope to Priest. I'm sure AJ Styles was watching, and I'm sure the message was sent loud and clear to the number one contender. Now it's AJ Styles' turn to try to build some momentum towards Toronto, towards the Royal Rumble. But right now, Karrion Cross is having his way with the number one contender and now trying to put in that arm bar. And if he wasn't that close to the ropes, AJ very well may be tapping out right about now. Just beaten down on the number one contender. This is why Cross is so dominant inside of that ring. It's hard to find an opening. And Karrion Cross absolutely will beat you down any means necessary. And now again, double underhooks AJ Styles and sending him dead in the middle of the ring. Cross looking to bring doomsday upon AJ Styles tonight. And is going to be looking to do this day in the 29 other men at the Royal Rumble. Showcasing he knows how to throw somebody over the top rope right there. Send it AJ out of the ring. Harry and Cross, Big E, Omos. Just a couple of the men we saw tonight on Monday Night Raw that will be participating as 15 of the Raw superstars, along with 15 from SmackDown at the Rumble. AJ Styles throwing caution in the wind tonight. Moonsault off the apron to the back of Cross. Any means necessary for the phenomenal one to escape his adversary tonight. And AJ's heading up to the top rope. He's got Cross in his hindsight. Going for a cross body, but Karrion and Cross able to step one foot out of the way. And AJ just trying to shake it off right now. Adrenaline's pumping, but Karrion and Cross absolutely avoiding disaster right there. Ghost the phenomenal one back into the ring. And now Cross delivering that vicious two forearms to the spine of AJ Styles. Randy Orton's got to love what he sees. AJ's been riding a wave of momentum for the last couple of weeks. Victory over Austin Theory, victory over RBD, carrying cross, gonna knock AJ Styles off tonight. Another elbow to the back, that time from the top rope. Uncharacteristic by Mr. Doomsday himself, but yes, as we've been mentioning all throughout this contest, it's any means necessary to get the victory. AJ Styles, Looking to steal the victory from Karrion Cross. Cross able to battle out of it. It was a maneuver like that though. Wait a minute. Karrion Cross, Saito suplex out of nowhere. A move that has put several challengers away. AJ trying to fight back, but Cross is having none of it. He's about to mention how AJ Styles 
Oh no, not again. Carry across, carry across to lock in that straight jacket. Maybe a little bit early on in the contest. We've seen Cross put superstars away with this very maneuver, but AJ Styles, tough as nails inside of that ring. Former WWE champion for a reason. Able to elbow his way out of it, but how long can the phenomenal one survive after the punishment that was inflicted by his challenger here tonight? And AJ unloading on Karrion Cross with the strikes there. And, oh, wait a minute. The WWE Champion, Randy Orton, is in the house. There's no business for Randy Orton out here right now. He already participated earlier tonight. Wait a minute, cross from behind. Cross from behind. Trying to steal the victory over Styles. Styles, counter on cross. Cross about to get his first loss, no. And AJ Styles staring down Randy Orton. And now cross coming from behind, laying out Styles. And Randy Orton completely changing the momentum of this matchup. AJ was getting back in control. The champion wanted none of it. And now Karrion Cross is manhandling the number one contender right now. Oh, no. Power bomb. Splat goes the WWE Champion's number one contender. Randy Orton absolutely changing the trajectory of this matchup. Does not want to see AJ Styles build the same momentum he has tonight. And wait a minute, Cross going back to the straight jacket submission hold. AJ has got nowhere to go right now. Punishment's been inflicted, and the number one contender's got no choice but to tap out. Carry and Cross. I'm not saying he wouldn't be getting his hand raised otherwise, but absolutely gets an assist from the WWE Champion tonight. The already undefeated and destructive manhandler Karrion Cross, alongside with the WWE Champion Randy Orton. Momentum goes in their corner here tonight in the Coliseum in Greensboro. AJ might not like it. A tap out is definitely gonna derail some momentum, but what can you do in this kind of situation? Here is your winner, Cross. Well, Randy Orton's gotta be happy with the result. Will AJ Styles be able to bounce back on the road to the Royal Rumble? And that man, Karrion Cross, very well be the last man standing when 30 men enter the ring on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. Thank you for joining us. Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.